Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm already on the mountain and uh, just wanted to say welcome to another shed hunting video. I'm sure many of you who have been watching probably just tell by the fact that it's me on the side of a hill with oak brush and a backpack that I'm looking for sheds. It's been a while since I hit this place. A lot of good memories up here. So I decided to come back. Curiosity was killing me, so that's just how my, that's how I work. I'll think about a spot and I want to go hit it. The only way to kill that curiosity is to just get up here and do it. As you can see, I got the Vortex Razor Spotting Scope. I'm gonna do a lot of, you know, grading, a lot of zigzagging once I find some bull sign in hopes to find some sheds. And then if I can, or I, I should say when I can, when available, um, pull out the, the spotting scope and do some glassing. I'm already in some elk sign. Uh, this is some of my favorite type of terrain to look in. Just really thick oak brush and thick mahogany. So yeah, wish me luck. I'm bringing you guys with me. And also I wanted to, in this video along with the shed hunt, as I go at some point, I'll be doing a, answering some of the most frequently common asked questions on the shed hunting videos. So I thought that'd be fun to incorporate that in today's video. So anyways, I got to gain some elevation and get stomping down these elk trails. So let's go. Man, it's areas like this where I'm like, oh, I could smell them. Why isn't there a brown shed laying in one of these beds? Must have shed already. But uh, I think a lot of these bulls are actually coming to these shady areas up here in these pines. Pines like that. And uh, getting a little cooler because it's just been such a light winter. I think they've been hanging out in the shade just to stay nice and cool. But yeah, look at all these beds everywhere. I just got a phone call with some good news. We've uh, been working hard all morning without any luck until now. Uh, my buddy Jordan, who's above me, found a nice brown elk shed. So, so far it's just one side. I'm gonna work up and try to meet up with him and see if we can't find the match. So that's cool. At least we have one. I'm excited to go up and see it, but I've really got to do some work before I get there. That was quite the push up to the top. Jordan's been at the top. Found the big brown. Let's see it. <laughs> spoiler alert? Yes or no? We're going with the spoiler alert. We'll look at some pictures. Oh yeah, look at that. Big old brown, huh? That's solid. All the way up here at the top. Here's his boot tracks. What, you sat here in glass? Yeah, glass and truck can. And then over there, there it is. Let's see if you guys can see it. See the tines right there in the middle? That's a solid bowler for sure. Okay guys, so while Jordan was up here, he started glassing these ridges across from us. There's a couple canyons over there and he glassed a white shed, a big white elk shed. Laying there, tines down to the right side, and uh, so far we haven't been able to glass the other side, but that is a miracle spot. So, good job to Jordan. I don't have my phone scopes, but I'm going to throw up my phone up against it and get some video for you guys and show you what's up. It's definitely a good shed. So there it is, kind of the left third of the frame, big right side. That is so cool. I cannot believe where it's laying. We're definitely gonna have to sit up here in glass for a minute. Wow. Pretty, pretty bull, man. Pretty solid everywhere. Good fronts, good thirds, good back. Probably the best one we're gonna find all day. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. Nice bull. Decent sized burr there. Yeah, that's cool. Now we just need to find the other side. I'll tell you what, guys. Sometimes it's the most random spots you find them. I was cruising through these ledges, honestly, just trying to get around these ledges so I can drop down. There's some elk tracks on here and stuff. There's kind of a little trail 
And it's a good thing I looked down because I saw that. Check that out. <laughs> oh man, it's about time. It's probably after 4 p.m. That's the first shed I've found. Honestly, I could have walked by that one. If I just wouldn't have looked down, I'd have walked right past it. Dang. Beamy sucker, this is a left. This might be the other side to Jordan's. His was a, I'm trying to think, was his a right? His was a right. Here we go, I think I got his match. Pretty stud bull. And what's so crazy is this is laying right here. Jordan was perched up on these rock ledges up here whistling at me, telling me where to come. And uh, the whole time right below on the other side. <laughs> oh, that's how crazy it can work sometimes, guys. You just need to take the right lines. But man, this thing is in some nasty stuff. Look at that. Nice burr. So here's one question we get a lot is, uh, what do you do if someone finds the first side? Well, how do you guys uh, organize the sets and stuff? So for me, if there, if someone picks up a bull, like, like Jordan and I, if someone picks up one side of an antler that is a keeper, something you're going to keep, um, the second person, like this one, if Jordan's going to keep this set, I hand him mine over. Just fair and square. That's all I ask, nothing else. Now, if he was going to just sell his shed, and uh, uh, I would just keep mine. So that's my role. I don't know, we'll have to ask Jordan, but uh, that's a pretty cool set. So I'm sure he'll want to keep that sucker. Let's see what he says. Hello. Hey, you find anything down there? No, what do you got? I got your match. For real? Yeah. You know those ledges you came over out and whistled at me? Yeah? It's right below that. So I wouldn't have been able to see it on them ledges? No, you would have been too many mahogany trees right here to see it. Damn, are you sure it's the match? Positive. You got a right side, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is your match. How convenient. We got a nice uh, rock right here. Let's see if we can get a halfway decent angle for you. You guys mind if it's crooked? It's about the best I can do right there. there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the other side of Jordan's. Nice back end. Just a all around good bull. I mean, everything's got good length. G1's a little short there, but I mean, for what he is, I think he's a young bull. I think he's got a good frame with some good potential. But <laughs> I'm glad we matched him up, but I'm most likely giving this one away, guys. But hey, what goes around comes around. Jordan is going to have to help me out maybe tomorrow. And it's all good. I'll even pack it down for him. So sweet. We're both on the board. Throw that on the pack. Decided to bring the spotter. It helped us confirm the shed that Jordan found. But besides that, uh, no luck with the spotter yet. Reunited. Oh yeah. Yeah, your side's a little better. Together again. Glad we matched them up. That's cool, huh? Lucky. Way lucky. I can't believe how close he came to that one. Just, I mean, it was a cliff, but just where it was, you wouldn't have seen it. Yep. Well, cool. We got one set. It's all we found all day besides the other one, the Jordan glass. And we're just slowly working our way down. Still got a couple of ridges to cover, but the sign is really good right here. Like from here down, I think we might be able to stir one up. So fingers crossed. Jordan matched up a big bull, which is pretty much the reason I personally wanted to come up here so bad. He found a big single a couple weeks ago up here. Big mass on the front and a super dense antler. And we came up here to look for the other side. We never did find it on the way up and I just got the phone call that he found it. So he's got the match. We got the match to the set we found today. So that's cool. We, we were able to match up two different bulls. One more frequently asked question I get is, what do you do with all your antlers? So good question. When I first started antler hunting, I collected every single piece of antler, shed antler, any antler I can get from my neighbors. Like I've had a neighbor or two shoot a two point or a small four point and I'd go over there and 
uh, get the antlers and just collect them. So when I was young, I saved everything. Once I started getting better and better at finding sheds, and this is just, you know, high school, right out of high school, I'd start to sell them, which would give me gas money so I can go do it again. That was literally the only reason I would sell my sheds was so I can get money or binoculars or gas money so I can go do it again. But nowadays I keep all the good stuff, you know, like the keeper pile, uh, big stuff, unique stuff, anything I think has potential, maybe a bull that I might find two years of. Um, consecutive years I usually keep. I think that's pretty cool. But the common stuff, the common browns, the chalks, the whites, I just sell it. I don't have room for it at my house. Uh, if, if, if I had every antler I've ever found still, which I wish I had because the price of antlers has gone way up, uh, I would probably need like a lot of storage space to store them. But so what happens with the antlers when you sell them? A lot of them go to decoration, chandeliers, lamps. Uh, the majority of them go overseas to China. They use those for an aphrodisiac. They'll grind them up and, and use them for different medicines. Lately, a lot of people have been buying, I'm sure you've seen them in the pet store, like a chunk of antler for an organic antler dog chew. Um, that's really big right now. People buying organic antler dog chews. Uh, companies will just, you know, cut these off, take a little five or six inch length and sell that for like 20 bucks. So there's a lot of money in dog chews, but typically when I sell them, I just sell them by the weight. What they'll do is just get a huge scale, weigh them, and then based on whether it's A grade, B grade, or C grade, which is brown, white, and chalk, there's a different price for them. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do is collect them all. And then at the end of the year, I'll do a big sale, uh, which is nice. It really helps for gas money and camping essentials and things like that. But uh, that's what happens with most of the sheds, at least for me. Oh yeah, there it is. Let this thing focus. Look at the mass on that bull. Holy cow. <laughs> that thing is heavy. It's so funny because score wise, I wouldn't say those bulls are very different. Weight wise, this weighs at least two times as much as that. It is dense, but look at these fat cucumber points. Those are my favorite. Jordan's got the other side of his house. So we'll go put them together, show you. But that is a sweet bull. That's the reason, honestly, I wanted to come up here. Glad we're uh, walking back with it. He's got the match at home and then we got another set. So that's a win. Okay guys, this is the set that Jordan and I matched up yesterday. Really pretty bull. Just a pretty six point. He's really had great genetics. If he's a young bull. He's got a lot of potential. But. So that's a set that we matched up together. And later yesterday, Gordon found this thing. So he had texted me and showed me he had found a big single, which was this one, last week. And I was like, we gotta go find it. <laughs> These things are so heavy and dense. It's not a very big scoring bull, but if you could feel these, those things got to be 12 or 13 pounds. <laughs> I love these freak bulls though. Look at the cucumber point. Big heavy front. And it's a big bird, but not like a super big bird. Well, that's a pretty bull. So, that's what we got from yesterday. We're going to go hit it again today and see if we can go find a couple more. Alright guys, thanks for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Shed hunting videos are probably some of my personal favorites. I'm a little burned out um, already this year, but don't worry, a few days off and I'll be motivated to get back out there. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you come back for tomorrow's video because we head back on the mountain and I'll just tell you this, we find a good one. That's all I'm gonna say, we find a good one. Guys, we got stuff on sale on the Get Hushin website. The camo windbreakers on sale as well as some beanies and some hats and some t-shirts so check those out the link is in the description box below make sure you hit this red button over here or this button right here in the middle to subscribe and if you want to watch more shed hunting videos just click here or right here now i'm going to stop because i'm super dizzy but i thought that'd be like a really cool outro see ya